I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Okay. Sam can and will. But you've already seen this. Wait, if we use the chemical sampler on it, that might do something different. So long, Stinky. Let's take see if chemical we have the sampler and put it on the top cake. It couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now... Oh, I wonder if what would happen if we put the tar cake into the... into, uh, Bosco's, uh... thing. What? You're gonna make a baby out of it? Why the frick not? It's Bosco! Like we really care what happens you. with, <laughs> like it really ha like we really care what happens to Bosco. Yeah, but this is. <sighs> I need to fill a test tube with something before I can put it in here. Oh right, I just I grabbed the wrong thing. Tar cake sample. No, I'm pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. See, you gotta use your head sometimes. What we need to do is go get a patent for this. Yep, bitumen thirteen. I just wanted to see if it was possible to turn Bosco into a tar cake. That... I mean, he's already a tar <laughs> cake, but whatever. There are some historical con uh, implications of that that aren't particularly... Uh, uh, Great. Politically correct. <sighs> We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Bitumen 13! Oh, we could say Wombat Glands! to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like! Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. Yeah, true, we don't have any proof that uh, Edison wasn't a time traveler. We have plenty that he stole. Um, oh, now we can show the patent to Stinky. And say, nah, nah, we have your recipe. I know, and it'll stop, does that stop uh, the mermaid from becoming Jeff Bezos? It might. Okay. We can always check the future afterwards. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Stinky! We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock! That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can... My s pus filled. Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine, I'll throw it out. Time stream altered. Good. Oh. <laughs> There's no adhesive. Nope. Okay. So now we give the AI to young Mr. Sam. Oh, sure. How convenient. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. More. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. Oh, but for now... Shut up! Oh, you broke the game, Sam! Nuh-uh, I made it better. This like totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But oh, I that's why I had to be abusive. To pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds. Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Jackass. <laughs> so Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tail, bro. Is that supposed to be in line with his personality? or uh, You know not what? Not in the... Even... Not even the slightest. Okay. 
I just was wondering why no one else commented. Because I despise this form of Max. But thankfully, it's the only thing to get rid of Mama Bosco. Oh, that's right! <laughs> Cause now he's into her. Hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you all night long? Don't look at me, Miss. We Boston. didn't need a f zoom in like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected. Jackass. Okay, now Bosco exists, but he still has the wrong daddy. You wanna see what let's look what Bosco looks like when he actually exists. Cause see he's still well, at least like he did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. It's like Leisure Shoot Larry now. Whee! How are we going to get off this spaceship? Hadn't given it much thought, sir. Don't you care about T-H-E-M coming back to kill you? Not really, sir. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I don't like Bosco like this, Max. We've got to get him back to his paranoid self. Okay, well, more work to do. We'll see you around, Bosco. I know who his daddy is. I just, I'm, I'm not sure if it's, um, if it's where we Wait. can do it. Can we use the thing on Super Bowl? We already did. Oh. Right now, Where's his daddy it. Right now, his daddy is Super Bowl. We got Super Bowl's time card. Did we? Uh, I don't know if we scanned him. Carbon data. It printed a time card with our logo on it. Wait, really? Okay. I don't know where that. I don't know what that's gonna do. Let me. Let's find out. Oh wait, uh... Uh, let's do that. We still have one more to find at some point. Yeah, I'm just not sure where that one is. Maybe if we- maybe it'll be something we can scan, uh, when we get there. Crap, did we get a cork? Yeah, I think we have a cork. Yeah, you're right, we should. We've been helping some tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's Bat Mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like Super Bowl. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. Okay, oh. so we're here now. Ah, Boxing Betty remote. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty hey. to... What? Hey, buddy, throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this. Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Do we just get an egg? From our future selves. Well, these are trying times. This is just... <laughs> Remember the running gag I wanted to do last time, but we couldn't? Please now... keep doing it. Bunang. 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 The hell happened? No idea. You had a stroke, maybe? Okay, good. <laughs> good, we fixed that problem. Um <laughs> Smile Timber. Seems like only yesterday it was Gabriel. Wait, what? There's nothing good on. Or bet on, for that matter. We sure have a lot of things from previous adventures. Oh wait, it's the Mal Volcano Seal that started this whole mess. It was very thoughtful of future us to bring it back as a souvenir. 
Can you put a cork in it? All points bulletin. We need a new bulletin. I don't know if it's a past one or future one that we need to put it in. Yeah. It's for the good of the future, Max. Time stream altered. Jackass. Okay. Let's talk now Super Bowl. What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the president's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service then? Mmm, sure. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship! That's ridiculous, sir. It must have been a weather balloon. <laughs> that was no balloon! It was a spaceship! Bosco saw it too! Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can hear done Roswell. Or deny a cover up, sir. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, <laughs> it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted. Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. What were we talking about? Did he, he just men in black us? Having a perfectly rational yep. vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Pago Pago. Hey, look, You're lucky that's a real place. It's Agent Super Bowl. You were saying something, sir. I can't remember. I can't remember. Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago. You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. The dude just, like, freaking drinks the eights all day. He can't seem to avoid it. Okay. Can't anyway. even get in the closet. Well, we can, if we go back to the future, uh office you know the intergalactic one the volcano won't have screwed up the bulletin board mm -hmm. but also stinky corp is gone that too looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape local mario oh, hey the enigma is still there this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. Is this changed? Whoa! Frick me. Nope. I hate pack rats. Let's see if okay. they know anything about Stinky Corp. Have you heard from Stinky lately? Of course, dim-witted Sam. She owns the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. How'd she manage that? She invented a spray that repels reanimated zombie hands. It turns Wait, out what? surprisingly lucrative. Damn it! So long. Yep, apparently Whee! apparently that's what happened this time. Well <sighs> Okay, so uh I suppose we Can go back go? to the Oval Office to uh get get a sample. Of what? You'll see. Yeah, if you say so. Oops, that's the tar cake. Wait, maybe... Maybe not. I don't need a sample of that. You already got it from the pillow. It's a national heirloom that Super Bowl spit all over. But that's... How about you go home, or use the home button, That was easy. And we're going to go into the other room? But we haven't fixed Bosco yet. It says we don't need to yet. Bosco's oppressors could spring out of there any moment. Ray guns blazing. Either this walkthrough is done so poorly that everything's out of order, or you're screwed. 
Okay, so I'm gonna tell you who Bosco's daddy is. It's John F. Kennedy. That makes sense. Yeah, so we need to we need to somehow find a way to get there. No. -uh. No siree. Oh wait, okay. That must you be use an abduction beam. Show me the letter you got from Stinky Steiner. Ignore the spit on the star cushion and instead take a sample from the discarded... Oh, wait! The envelope that Super Bowl threw away! Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't even know they had anything in it. I remembered the star pillow, but I thought it was the other star pillow. So it turns out you're right. Yep, it's still... It, his daddy is still John Fitzgerald Kennedy. And the only thing we need to get then is uh, the sample over to... Bosco's It's over here somewhere. On the table? Did he make it over there? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. The envelope. So I take a, a chemical sampler and put it on the envelope. Should be plenty of DNA rich spit left on this envelope. The president. Oh duh, you have to lick envelopes. Lickers. Yeah. Well, well at least honestly, this uh, is, at least uh, this Mama Bosco can't can't uh, uh, mooch money off of the president since he got shot in the head. Well, at least this history is pretty accurate. To a degree. Alright, now that we've got our baby making solution. Ah, uh, don't talk to Max. Let's take this and put it in here. Time stream altered. Jackass. Cool. And now that should fix Bosco. Yay! Bosco's back to his old gruesome self. Took you fools long enough. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-M! Dangerous? We haven't even seen him yet. All that stuff we just fixed was your fault! Shut up! Alright, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Oh. They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary! Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens. Who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of wheat. Well, you two go first! Okay. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver. Wait, so I spoiled it? Mark. Yes. It's it's T A T M. Well, you can cut that out oh, later. Oh, bienvenidos, amigos. What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything weekly and simply. No. That is not our way. <coughs> They're gonna do a song. Yep. Please. Uh, you know what? I get to hear it this time, so go for it. Go! 
course we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone. Our lives suck. Where they go, we don't know. But it's hard to Oh, oh, the cow man has had a heart attack. Oh well. Begin the soul crushing. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! So, what? <laughs> Go ahead. What the fuck? <laughs> I have audio of him saying that now! I am. All of these, all of these levels so far are connected by the mariachi guys. Literally every time anyone said anything about a birthday, one of these guys showed up. <laughs> I remember that, but there's also, I don't understand how they got the heads or the Bermuda Triangle. They abducted or the vampire. They abducted the heads in Moai Better Blues. Remember? Oh, at the very end. Oh, you're right. And, and, when, then, and once they abducted the heads, naturally the Bermuda Triangle had to come with it. And, okay, so then they abduct them and then they crush the soul and then they make money? That, yeah, they make they get money from their generous benefactor who collects damned souls. Oh, like, so we're going to have to like figure Jürgen. out who the G-Man is in mm. the next episode. Bingo, baby. But at this point, the mariachis are the... Oh, my lord. There's also a printer over here. Some weird alien device. Oops. I not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship just falls apart these days. Hmm. Okay, like we're still at the point where low tech printer. You can give the obituary to the guy. Please don't touch that. I'll just have to change it again. Exactly. And you remember? Oh, wait, that's you remember? How he died. Yeah. You remember last episode when we got a paint? When we got an ink ribbon? Oh my gosh! I just remember the obituary that said it had something to do with ink, which just seemed Pedro. ridiculous. Pedro! Boy, you people from the past are backwards. You think just because I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache, I'm some two-dimensional cultural stereotype? You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? Pedro. <laughs> you kidding. My name really is Pedro. We knew that. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but we cannot do that. We were scheduled to pick up two souls in Germany, but we only got the one. The cowman will fill our quota. Don't you remember they said uh, that Sam and Max's souls said they were having a ride soon? Yes. Damn it. <laughs> the How is all of this connected? Well, if you're delivering trapped souls, where are the cages? Cages? We don't got no cages. We don't have to show you any stinking cages. We keep the souls on that platform, see? We'd feel better if you'd give us Bosco's soul back. Oh, don't worry, amigos. I'm watching the whole soul crushing process to make sure he doesn't escape. You three mariachis look so much alike, it's uncanny. Wasn't Even the whole song about song, time travel? The yeah, yes! Longer versions of me. Oh, we weren't paying much attention to the song. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, you're staring at your dingle balls. Gracias, senor. They really tie the room together, no? So what do you do here? What are you doing here? Oh, I keep the eye on the soul crossing process. Como estas, vaca hombre? Help! Muy bueno. I also do the light maintenance and the IT. This can't be a satisfying job for you. Don't you want to quit and go away forever? Oh, I got lots to complain about, believe you me. Who gets to be the captain? Pedro. Who gets to listen for divorce days? Pedro. But who's stuck watching the clock and fixing the time card printer? Pedro. 
If you don't like your job, why don't you quit? Mm, being alone in here does let me practice the singing and fishing the printer helps an old man feel useful. Yeah, about that. Exactly. Adios. See you later, guys. Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. If so can I. I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Speaking of screwing the printer. What? What are you going to do? Stick your dick in it? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna pull out the ink ribbon. Need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can just throw litter into the time Wait. eggs. Wait, he wasn't yes, killed by the prince, sir. Where a time traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, going to dress last month at the castle in Germany. Yep. Oh, that's the very same ribbon we picked up. Great. So now okay. if we if we were to scan Monsieur We get the last card, do we? Peter doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Uh, Never mind. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. Okay. Okay. I guess we so have to go just... to the printer and then get a a, a fake one? The printer has How are they born? Because <laughs> we threw it away! Okay. Well, what I need is a blank one to visit a specific place. Um. Oh, yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, GeoJo2000 and, uh, uh, Luigi fan 891